Maintenant, pour commencer cette deuxième partie de soirée, nous avons le plaisir d'accueillir sur scène euh, le président du comité permanent, permanent de la science et de la recherche et député de Guelph, l'honorable Lloyd Longfield. Please. We are so pleased to have the chair of the House of Commons Committee on Science and Research, Member of Parliament for Guelph, the Honorable Lloyd Longfield. Please. Well, thank you. And um, my dad said that this was like a campaign rally. So I'm his campaign manager. I understand he's going to be running in Guelph in the coming election. So uh, who's going to vote for my dad in this room? OK. Very good. It's an honor to be here with so many distinguished guests and all the people that have put this together. Looking at CSPC over the years, 15 years of policy support. And as a member of parliament, where do we go for our ideas? And that's, here is a good answer. <laughs> because we need trusted sources of information more than ever. We need to be able to go somewhere where people look at things critically. And especially in these times that we're in. It's not even so much about the science. It's about the ideas behind the science and how ideas are formulated and how they're tested and how they're changed. We're all trying to figure this out. As a member of parliament, to have the support of the science community is absolutely invaluable to the work that we do. So thank you for all that you do. Well, it, it, it's, it's also about friendships. And when we see the conversations and trying to get back control of the room when people are talking because they haven't seen each other for a while. Ideas are getting kicked around. And the friendship piece of this is so vitally important because when we're, when we're trying to bring the next generation of highly qualified people to the workforce, the biggest strength we can give them is the support of friendship and the relationships that they will develop so that they can figure out from other people's scars what they don't want to do. And they can also say, that worked pretty well, I'm going to steal that idea. And that's how it should work in the country that we're in. And democracy is really under fire. I was meeting with the Jewish community in last night. And one of the questions they posed to me was, what does democracy look like in five years? And it stopped me cold. What does democracy look like in five years, given the situation in the world? Well, I can say that the people in this room will help to answer that question. We need your talent, but above all, we need your critical thinking and your friendship so that we can continue to develop not only the scientific community, but the community that we all live in in the world. So thank you again for the wonderful work you're doing and the support of the science com committee of the science and research committee is always there and we're always looking for witnesses. So <laughs> you can reach me by look up Guelph MP and uh, if you've got a thought to share, please do share it. Thank you so much. <laughs>